Right. Hello, Mr. Nuren here. Welcome back to Warcraft Total War version 2.3. We are playing the Kaldore campaign or the Night Elf campaign. Night Elven campaign. We are about to fight a battle. The battle of the ruins of Amet Aran. <coughs> Your forces attack an army of the minor factions. It's the Murlocs now, actually. It says bandits, but it should be Murlocs. Okay, so the Murlocs here. Previously, the Naga used to be here, that's why. Yeah, it says bandits, then we replaced them with rebels. Okay, army strength ratio 5 1 in our favor. We will start the battle immediately. Right. Let's start deployment. So it's once again one of these settlements, but this time the weather is much better. We are in a forest. All right. <coughs> we'll start the immersion mode or third person. Right, I'm back. It worked. We'll start battle. Control Trand on her white saber. So these tigers, they are called sabers in Warcraft. Okay, so we can control Trand on her saber. She's the only one with this look now. Previously, I believe um, the unit of Moon Priestesses had this hairstyle as one of the alternate looks for the unit, but now only Trand has the green hair. And the others have grey hair, purple hair, and red hair, I believe. Purple for sure. White. Purple, white, and... Uh, I believe red, uh, pink, actually. Yeah. The green hair is unique for Turan. She wanted her to be unique. The hero, the cool leader of the faction, <coughs> together with Lufurion. Because this is pretty much Tyrande. Go oh, they follow. When we move too far away, they start to move the bodyguard too. That's the case yeah, with some units. So with the Kuatals in Warhammer, beginning of the end times of the native cut, they also move if we move too far away. The bodyguard. Due to this unit being a ranged unit, we won't be able to zoom in on the general when they fire because the <coughs> camera will zoom in on the projectile, on the arrow. Of our bodyguard. Of course, the general herself can't use a bow. She would be melee. out and enable running so the saber is pretty fast it looks kind of like in World of Warcraft classic when they ride a saber even though the models for the Moon Priestesses are, are fan-made. Well, the Saber, of course, is from Vogue Classic. So it's like a mix between fan-made model, the rider is fan-made, and then the mount is uh, from Vogue Classic. Can't move here, for some reason it's locked. Get quite the force here. Bantu made her Right, like that. Look, kind of cool. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. This is the second hero with a mount that we can control in battle. In third person. She's pretty fast.
Alright, here's the bodyguard. Seems to have moved a bit. Previously, we'll group the archers. The one group have three units of archers. We'll place them in loose formation. We also have this general. Can't control more than one general per battle. The one with the best stats is always chosen as the general. This does not count as a leading a general leading the army, but he has just a normal bodyguard. Something else looks like this. Dismounted bodyguard. Kareen something. I don't remember her surname. A normal speed on. She's a dismounted general. Okay, we will send in the troops, but we will send in the archers first. the pikeman they are not the right units you want to attack the javelin throwers these guys Archers will fire at the Marlock Javeliners, or I believe their name was Marlock. Uh, don't remember their name actually. <laughs> anyway, we will fire at them when we get close enough. Hopefully, the three units of archers can take them out without us needing to send in any infantry. When we had two units of archers and one unit of Moonstrikers, we could take out the entire Marlock army without even needing to send in a single infantry unit. Well, the two archer units were not enough, they would run out of ammo. So we'll see if uh, three archers will be enough to take out all of the murlocs. Or if we need to send in infantry too, we'll see. The weather on this battlefield was much better than previous battlefields at the same settlement. We have another village here without any buildings whatsoever so a purple hairstyles green hairstyles and we have two different bluish and greenish hairstyles I don't remember the the word for those colors is from the trailer I believe World of Warcraft classic or the purple one but I think it was the blue one I don't want them to fire at wheel by the way that I don't want specifically that they would fire on the murlocs these are the murlocs swamp runners yeah they, they are the ones we have troops over there we have a lot of archers Let's attack 
guys instead. Stand that close. Move them back all the way over there. Should be way faster than the Murlocs. Uh, some of them ended up in a melee. We should have very long range missiles. Should be able to kill those Murlocs from, from very far away. Place them over here. And run. Elven Let's Play and uh, Blood Elven Naga Hotseat Let's Play, they are way more popular than the others, um, probably because of the females, <coughs> so I will try to focus more on them, but I also want to finish the Labrina campaign of Harul because I've come so far in it, and I enjoy it. Half of the units in the Labrinian army are females, and the Sora army is both males and females too, but yeah, they, they are not as sexy as the Night Elves or the Blood Elves. Okay. They look like normal soldiers. The, the Sora, they are good looking, but they are fish people, so maybe not the most attractive. More attractive than the Naga of Warcraft, I think. They are pretty much snakes. I don't know why they are not attacking. I clicked on them to attack. Need them to spread out too. I don't know why they are not spread out. Let's change immediately. Yeah, this is a pretty high quality fan made model. <coughs> yeah, looking good. Okay, we will try to kill the Murlocs from afar so we don't have to send in the, the militia and the footmen and spearmen and such. I mean, the, the Night Elven sword, swordsmen and the spearmen. We have two units of swordsmen at least, as we have four actually. Two units of volunteers and two units, three units of spearmen, actually. Be a little bit careful with the Murlocs, because the game could crash if there are too many the screen at once, probably. I don't like fighting numerous units of the game's tendency to not be able to handle too many units on the screen at once. I believe the only issue is the Murlocs and uh, maybe the Goblins and the Karaji have had that issue in the past before I lowered their numbers. The Murlocs is the only one I know of that still has it. Maybe the Karaji also has it, but don't, I don't think so. I haven't fought them enough, but I've seen other YouTubers play against the Karaji and they haven't crashed uh, for that reason. Here we have the Naga Civic Officer of the Murloc unit. Each Murloc unit has a Naga Civic as an officer. We want 
the knight has to run back. They are not in melee. And then hit them. This is a good position. They stand in a row like this and pepper the enemy. Okay. <coughs> we'll do some good job here. Kill 15%, we lost 1%. And uh, Visperwind, who cool leader of the faction. See them over there. We don't have a horn, this general. She can do this here, circle and shoot formation actually. Yeah, because she's an, a horse archer, general sport guard. Here we have the Murlocs, Murloc Swarm Runners. They are the long range units. They actually want to focus on the archers. Good job, archers continue to fire the, the Swarm Runners. They throw javelins. They are the only real threat here. And we are from a distance away from the enemy. Can also move in the water here. That different than she moves in the water. Right. Only half the enemy force remains. Killed 51% and lost 1%. Alright, let's move back. Um. I don't know why her animation changed. Something, no idea. 
Uh, it's the attack stance. She very close to an enemy, so she entered the attack stance, I see. attack automatically when we get close to an enemy. The battle is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, victory will be ours. Move a little bit too fast for the Murloc. Uh, we are almost killing our own leader with our archers. I will avoid that unit for now. Now we killed 60% of the enemy. They are two numbers over there. We almost killed our own hero. Yeah, they might hit our own hero there. We'll move back. Yeah, but archers continue to fire the enemy. We killed 62% and lost only 1%. Alright. I like controlling the generals a new feature from 2019 so it wasn't possible really uh, before 2019 to use it and they have hardly used it in in all the mods that exist they only used it in few, a few like Harut of Lore, Wrath of the Norseman and uh, these I Lost Alliance and maybe some, some other mods to uh, Warcraft of Lore of course I've hardly played every faction and using it. And the night elves are really cool because they have a bunch of cool heroes like Tyrande here. They're cool to control in third person. Okay, 63% killed. Some of the elven archers are out of ammo. The ones that have their swords out, we'll move them back. These guys are still able to fire. They should continue. No. They couldn't fire. They had an axe there. Okay. Don't want to use any archers that have an axe. You see the Moonstrikers had more ammo. Or were more effective. Maybe they hit more of the enemy. Would probably s send in the bodyguard here and shoot them. We'll move back to Rand for now. Till her bodyguard gets close, we'll use their bows too. those units in melee, the archers. There is the bodyguard. 
see that the other units have the same type of mood, they'll use different hairstyles. They are faster than the hero. zoomed in on the hero. Very good. There are even more of them. Yeah, I made the green head one unique for Tyrande. <coughs> the first few releases she wasn't unique, but we wanted a hero. Fuck, now they somehow started to zoom in on the general when they started to fire. I believe it's because now all of them are firing. There's still a few that moved previously and as long as they moved, we didn't have the problem. Now we have the problem, so we can't really be zoomed in without the camera zooming like that. Yeah, real annoying. Priestesses, 31 in a unit, experience 2, melee attack 14, 24 missile attack, <coughs> 16 total defense, hit points 13, that's really good. Abilities at a glance, eagle inspires nearby troops, can, can form shooting circle, fight a nearby enemy, excellent morale, may charge, may charge with your orders, very good stamina. It's a shame that the camera zooms in on the projectile and they are all gathered. As long as some of the bodyguard units moved, it didn't matter if a few of them shot their arrows. We could still be zoomed in without issues, but as soon as everyone had reached the point where they started to fire, the, the camera switched to the projectile. And if we killed 74% enemy. Look at the massacre of Murlocs here. You have a Seavage here. Officer. Another one there. The Gorlock General. Can probably fast forward here. No, we can't. It doesn't work if you are not zoomed in on the unit. I see.
Now they have no shots left. They have drawn their swords. How many have we killed? 78% of the enemy. I think we'll send in the volunteers. Some swordsmen. That will do it. We do not need to use any of the cavalry, and we do not need to use the other general or the spearmen. <coughs> Might use the bodyguard. Good job, Borgard. It's up to the infantry to handle them now. The moon strikers were way better than the archers because we had three units of night elven archers and one unit of moon priestesses and we still couldn't kill all of them. We had the same numbers as in the other battle where we could kill all of them. And in that battle we had two units of night elven archers and we had one unit of moon strikers. So the moon striker unit made all the difference. Probably it's very very accurate when it comes to hitting enemies with the, with the arrows and uh, has more ammo than the other unit. But at least they are more accurate. A better precision. But there I can see troops. Move there. Five night element volunteers. They've been in battle before, those guys. They, be, they will be wasted. Then we have a unit of night element warriors. 125, fully sized unit. Another one. Then 70 over there. And then we have 125. They sent two units of volunteers first. And still, this volunteer unit ended up behind the other units. 125 of them. That's fine, it's a fully sized unit. We wanted it to be sent <coughs> um, like in the front. Front of the warriors or swordsmen, I mean. Seems they ended up lost. <coughs> yeah, it's a cool uh, point of view to see things from, from there back for a right saber like this. Infantry is charging their troops over there. It is unwise to praise the day before sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory.
could kill some of them. Running past them like that. Kill them with the mounted unit in Lee. I just run straight towards them. And he will attack automatically. Will you soldiers continue to fight? Many we killed 85%, and we have lost 3%. advantage will win you're too numerous for us to attack that blob I won't do that maybe if we had our entire bodyguard we would do that run straight towards the blob run over them Cavalier can just run over the troops kill them but alone I believe she might die easily move in. I didn't know that, that uh, the infantry is just moved automatically out of the way with other units. For example, if I have an, an infantry hero, a general, captain, they, they can't just back in into the others. If they have tight formation, they will uh, automatically be blocked because there is collision in this game, so they can't move into each other. With the mounted general, she can just move the infantry aside, which is cool. Oh, the enemy general is fallen, Lord Sinslayer, but it's just a goal of that name. They had the same name as the names as the Naga generals used to have. I didn't change the names, I just changed the unit models and the, the units themselves kept the general names. And I removed the Naga faction from the Reign of Chaos campaign and added the Murloc rebels. I didn't bother to remove the names of the generals. I just replaced the Naga generals with the Murloc generals. So, uh, Tyrande has a uh, bow, but she seems to lack a, a actual sword. She is she's unarmed and she strikes the enemy. She looks kinda bad. In melee, her bodyguard has uh, a sword, but she herself do not have it. She should inspire courage in the troops just by being nearby. We're almost one now. Good, we took him out. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Good up, soldiers. We won. We won the battle. Clear victory. Cool leader Turan, the Whisperwind, had 645 night elves. He lost 68, and we have 
1,577 remaining after the battle. Enemy skill 603. Lord Sinslayer or the, the Gorlock General. <coughs> Had 1,603 Murlocs and lost all of them. They killed 27 of our troops. It's really bad. We lost 68. I suspect we restored some of them. Okay, so we killed 100% and we lost 4%. Nice. We'll return to the campaign. Recording here. Right, I'm back. So I paused recording. The loading screen is about to finish. Get back on the map in any second now. <coughs> Ruins of Amit Aran, Strand, Whisperwind. We'll let them have it. We have a small elven farm here. We'll keep it. Okay, it's our culture. The Naga has the same culture as the Night Elves. Okay, end of turn report. The Lions of Lordaeron has the best production in the world, the largest population, and this overall strongest faction. The Scourge has the best financial situation, and uh, Trade Coalition has the best military. That's surprising. The Scourge used to be the, the largest population and the strongest military. Okay, so the Trade Coalition is the strongest. They might betray us then and attack us, we'll see. We'll merge the troops. Mission success. You've been rewarded with four units of Night Elven Warriors at your capital. Nice. Not the best oh, units, but... Yeah. We will also move down. I, I need a different hero to lead this army. I want it to be a Keeper of the Grove. Scenarius or Remulus. Because they are much better. They are mounted mages. So we want them to lead the army. Send them three units of swordsmen now. So we need Scenarius or Remulus to lead. Here we have Scenarius. Because we need a caster to take out the sea giant general there. Okay, in Arkran. Send yes. back the unit of. Yes. We don't need nine militia units. This militia unit could be sent back to the city. So now we will yes. also send one of the cavalry. Fuck. Couldn't reach the area. Okay. Let's we'll wait. One turn. Leave. Uh, in Wolf Runner in the ruins of Amt Aran. Move these troops down here. Under the Tyrande. Build a watchtower. Yes, tower. Building a watchtower. Ah, oh, fuck, it's a village too, I believe. Yeah, as well, with Murlocs. So we have removed the large city that Eldrad used to be as a village, and we have also made this a village, it used to be a castle. So we get only shitty areas in the former Naga regions. Okay. We'll still take this area next, so we'll have another battle, like the one we used for. Send back the cavalry to the army. I believe Scenarius will take over this army. We need a mage. We do not have any other mages in our army in the early game. Ok, 
Okay, we can recruit and construct. We are out of money. Okay. And I think we will click and turn. We might have agents to move. Priests, we don't need to move them. I move the spy. The assassin. I also move the diplomat, okay. Then we have moved already. We will end the turn. I don't know want to take all the remaining Murloc areas in this episode. We have another general here. We do not need, unfortunately, the traits do not work in this version. They're annoying. Okay, you will be rewarded with some of the best units currently available. We take the splinter tree over here. Yeah, we were supposed to move there. We are allied the goblins here. We have goblin rabble, tinkers, goblin tail gunners, goblin infantry, goblin death stealers, and a goblin bombard. Spy here. Move the spy over there. We have the orcs here. Paging orcs. Fell orcs. Relations report. We have poor relations with the horde and with the burning legion. Construction report. We have an elven port in Nandis and in Feathermoon. And in Shadowgland we have small elven farms. And in Donatus we have leather to near. Largest faction, we are the largest faction, nice. End of turn report. Or did they say it be sand? And if that's the case, it's probably the goblins. Okay, we want Lefurian to return to this place. So we'll move down the scenarios. Then we'll continue to move. Go to this area. We are delayed because we changed the general. He wasn't very close, or very, very nearby. We'll move the volunteers to the settlement of Constellas. We'll move the saber back towards Tyrand. We'll attack. We can attack immediately. Before we do that, we will we'll do the constructions and such. Recruitment. Okay, Shadow Glen can be upgraded. The Mutton Bale. No, we want to do that. The ruins too. They are better, to, easier to defend if we do that. I think we will do it. They are easy to defend. So we want the troops. Capital we can get the best stuff available at the moment. I think we'll go for Night Elven Priestesses, Casters, they have 10 melee attack, 15 missile, 5 charge bonus, 9 defense, 2 hit points, effect against armors, they can penetrate enemy armor, like any mage, long range missiles, excellent morale, can use flaming missiles. Okay certainly go for them and then we'll get spy no uh, we will go for the archers and the spearmen too we don't really need that maybe we will go for the cavalry and the swordsman no we'll go for the Enemies. The cavalry could be good against the horde, actually. We'll go for the cavalry. And against other factions with a lot of cavalry. Goblins do not have a lot of cavalry. They have a really good range units like gunners and such. 
uh, it's probably better to have cavalry than to have uh, archers against the goblins, against the horde. I think archers are actually really good against them. They are lightly armored and do not have very good archers themselves. <coughs> the Burning Legion, I guess we need monster units to handle them. They have mostly monster units and orcs. Uh, assassin here can move. Watch that. This area. Burning Legion. A diplomat too, we can move down. Money. Then we'll attack it around the Whisper Wind here. Yes. Take this area too. The similar almost the other areas. Save the game. And we'll fight the battle in battlefield. We have 4 1 almost strength ratio in our favor. We have lost one volunteer unit that we disbanded. There are only 9 units remaining in the, in the unit and we return to one of the cities. The Constella a, a Saber unit is not in the army because it's still on its way back. Weaker than in the previous battle. It should still be able to win. Okay, start deployment. Shut down that. Okay, we'll pause the game here. We are not controlling the general. Alright, I'm back. Now I'm controlling the general again. Which is good. Okay. Start the battle. First thing we'll do is send the archers again. Lose formation. We saw that the Night Elven archers are not good enough to handle all the Murlocs by themselves. I wonder what the fastest route is to that area. They start over there. Can probably move between these areas. Could move in here. Need to position them over here, I think. Still, we still want them to empty their cuvers before we send in the infantry. Out. Fuck. Again. Okay. I'll run with. Archers. They are faster than normal infantry, but they are still not as fast as the saber, of course. <coughs> This time I will let them just fire at Bill, so they will fire at anyone close enough to be fired at. Just want them to kill everybody from afar if it's possible. I believe they will run out of ammo before we can kill them. So that it wasn't even enough to add uh, 
ammo of the moon priestesses. So the list of units that has empty their quivers. Quite a few Nightelven archers. Three units. One unit is pretty numerous, so I'll send four in a unit. Alright, they reach their positions. We'll stop soon. Sure, they're very long range missiles, but I'm not sure the enemy is nearby. Maybe not. So we need to <coughs> order them to move in a little bit closer. These are the missile units, good. They have the swamp runners here, perfect. the general as they can fire back their javelins. <coughs> Don't know why these night elves moved all the way over there. Attack. <coughs> Enemy, we don't want them to be killed in melee. Seven remaining. <coughs> They're being peppered by our troops. Filling in more models there. But the only dangerous one was the, the swamp runners. Forward night elven archers and kill all of them. So do not want to be too close to the enemy with the general leader. And these troops moved back, so I was worried that maybe they enemy was selling forward or something. Selling forward. <coughs> I don't know what the orchard unit is doing over here. Ah, they are firing. Good. So we want the other units to fire too. Stand over, over in the back there. Yeah. Mm. 
But yeah, but archers continue to fire on the murlocs. So we killed 16% and lost 3%. They have managed to kill some of our night elven archers. Their javelins. But they have murloc troll crawlers. Another unit has reached this area and can start to fire on the enemy. Can run straight through them, I believe. Yeah, that's good. With cavalry, we can run straight through the infantry without meeting any resistance. It's like when you move with a dismounted general, they are there is collision damage, but not with the mounted general. That's cool. Ah, look at this. We lost quite a few to the. We have a lean throwers. Quite a few Night Elven archers died here. Due to those javelins. promising campaign. I think it's kinda cool. Trolling characters like this. In medieval the war kingdoms. Okay, it reminds me of Mountain Blade Warband, but I prefer the battles of uh, medieval Total War Kingdoms. The only thing I would want from Mountain Blade Warband is the civilian stuff and uh, speaking with NPCs and all that. Shops and such. The the battles are here are better for sure. They have lost half their men. And the army size. Quite a few more looks alive. Can move down here. firing on them. Killed 8% and lost 3%. So killed more this time, I believe. The archers maybe lost fewer this time. 
time. Because more of them got to sh shoot the damn. Eh? Haven't even had to use the moon strikers yet. Still numbers too. Celebrating. So one of the units do not have any arrows left. You see, these guys will probably run out of ammo soon too. Okay, so, uh, yeah, they will probably run out of ammo soon. Enemy, good job. Native and archers killed at 95%. Way better than the last time. They just did better this time. Enemy. and only lost 3% if you're lucky they will be able to kill the final 3% Let's see Oh, the general is dead. The one with 
Bastion's name. Okay. Okay. Um, ninety-eight percent killed the enemy. Yeah, the eleven night eleven archers are really good. Yeah, and effective. But they are not very good against mages. They're really good against other archers and javeliners and infantry. They kill 98%. Shit. Oh, I can see it, yeah. Bill Vien, I believe. Extra archers. Heavy one. Nice. That goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Look at the carnage. All right. Clear victory. Cool leader to Randy Whisperwind at 104. Knight Elven troops lost 37. Had 1267 remaining. Enemies killed 646. We killed more than we lost. We had 300 more were killed. And the uh, Gorlock General had 646. Marlocks lost all of them. Killed only 44 of our troops. Here are the details. Elven archers did a very good job killing their troops. Did it on their own. Okay. Looks there. And we're back on the map. We, we won against the Murlocs in Nashville. Let them have it. In Marmy Rod, school leader Tyrande. System is futile in Nashville. We have another building there that is a night elven building. Small elven farm, so we won't destroy it. We have a new village taken. The only difference here is that we didn't have the strat model of a village, Naga village here. Instead, we have nothing. Weird. And here we can leave a unit of spearmen, I believe. Then I think we can move the fleet down here actually. We can move most of these troops into the fleet. And uh, I think it's more important to send the fleet against the, the Furbolgs over there. Maybe not, because this is a village here. Do we want to, to take an area here? It's a village too, I see. Yes. Do not have a full sized army. Then we'll move to Darnassus and uh, reinforce the army. Tyrand. If we want to attack the village of the Furbox, they have two villages here, I believe. One of the areas might even be a town. And this is a village too, held by Furbolgs. Then we have uh, an area here too, held by Murlocs. Similar area to this area. Okay, what about scenarios? He can't move anymore. We are out of money. Okay, we will end. No, we will move the agents if we haven't done that. We have already moved them and we will end the turn. Right presented, betrothed, cool leader Tyrande and uh, Celine Starsong. Young woman of fitting bre breeding and station has been divorced. 
to be discovered as a potential partner for this woman. Ah, no, you don't want to. Uh, relations improved. Terra more with good relations. Recruitment report. Not still we have mounted elven warriors. Uh, two units now. Okay, um, construction report. Uh, a bunch of new constructions. New buildings, I mean. Constructions completed. Uh, factions. Faction announcement. Remulus biographer plus one authority. Hundred Federmon astrologer. Minus one PT. And uh, plus one. Command. Should probably not have uh, been that fast at moving there. Move over here. Oh, we are made the roots of the Talon. They will certainly be moved out. And uh, Shadowland Guardians, a unit of Nightland Archers, another unit of Shadowland Guardians. Spearman. Black one unit. She has the left one unit of sabers here. This wasn't too good. Assassin will move assassins towards the areas of the Burning Legion. Goblins are moving over there. The orcs here, we need to take that area, then we get some units. Some of the best units currently available. If we take that area, we'll do that. Send a spy over here. As you will. Yes. More troops inside here. The by nation. Right, we can't attack this time. As far as I can see, they have a mage, mounted mage unit, three units of triads, which is mounted javeliners. We have a few uh, furbolgs. One unit of mages and two units of melee firebolgs. Three units, four years, units of night elven archers. Two units of mounted night elven warriors. Two units of uh, shadowland guardian spearmen. Four units of night elven warriors. Okay, and here we have some other troops. Yet far away, we will leave them there for now. Now we need to do recruitment and construction. Ah, uh, some new troops here too. But in case the goblins attack, we might need a garrison there in the capital. Right, so here we want to go for... And get new cavalry units here. Mounted sentries would be nice. And uh, huntresses. Hundred sentries are better than the mounted swordsmen. Or mount mounted night elven warriors. They are similar melee cavalry, but a bit better rider. Diplomat needs to be moved to move it over here. Okay, move her over there. Now I think we need to do construction and touch to We might be able to recruit troops elsewhere as well. Okay, in Night Haven, we go for a Night of an Archer unit. 
Astra Nair, go for see mounted sentries. We'll go for dryads, hunter seas, and uh, mounted sentries there. <coughs> and here we'll go for Little Warriors. Little Archers. No actually. Yeah, we'll go for Night Elven Arch Archers there. Maybe we'll go for the volunteers, then we get two of them instead. We're out of money. And we can end the turn. Centuries now. They were fast to recruit. King of Keltalas and the Scourge have uh, ceased hostilities. <coughs> A new cavalry unit here. And here. If you look at the stats. The mounted Night Island Warriors have 9 attack, 8 charge bonus, 17 total defense, 1 hit points, excellent morale, powerful charge. And the mounted sentries has 12 attack and 8 charge bonus. They have same charge bonus but higher hit uh, attack. They have still 1 hit point, 15 defense, reverse defense. Actually, they like the shields of the mounted swordsman. Mounted Night of Warriors. They have worse skills. So the Mounted Sentries have excellent morale, can form Veg and Power Charge. They are better. Move the Diplomats towards the Horde. Spy. Move over here. We have another area of this type. We have Rurgas here. Sea guy and general. That's why we need a demanded caster or mage to handle that guy. Move the assassin over here. We should attack it scenarios this time. No, we will attack it around here too. Okay, to a village here. We can attack immediately. Save the game. So this will be a li little bit harder, I believe. Because we are facing furbogs. They have one uh, mage unit. And they have a bunch of infantry units. Really good infantry, as we saw previously. And they have this mage unit. We also have a mage unit. We have the druids of the talon. Strength ratio 2 1 in our favor. Probably already saved. I think we could save again. Okay, and let's fight the battle on the battle map. Furbogs. This time we have no walls and no towers. We won't have as many casualties this time. But they are still dangerous, especially the mage. Okay. Due to them having a mage, I kind of want my troops in shield wall. We'll defend them a little bit better. Go 
don't think it will help much against the mage unit. Still place them in field wall. Actually we won't I change my mind, it won't help against mages. If it was any other range unit it would help. Not against the mage. We want them in loose formation. One group. Spearman in one group two. Loose formation. The archers in one group. Formation, and we have the cavalry, mounted knight and swordsman. They two could be in loose formation, and we have the shadowland guardians, could also be in loose formation. And then we have the mage, druids of the talon, and we have the border guard, which will be in loose formation too. So this is the mage. Move them over here. So they transform into birds in melee and fire a beam in you know, in ray from a range from a distance. Okay. Roots of the talent. Okay. Let's pause the record. Right I'm back. It worked. Good. Let's start the battle. The first thing we need to do is we need to kill off the mage. We have a lot of furballs here. It's the ones with the staffs that we want to kill. First of all. <coughs> so they can kill many of our troops. Here they are. Send the archers there too. Start with sending the druids, I guess. Because they will kill a lot of our archers. Start with sending the druids. Some of the best melee units in their army. Druids of the Talon. Projectile of the Druids of the Talon. The enemy is answering their own projectile. Durbolg Shamans. They have an electric projectile, I think. Some kind of electric projectile. So it could massacre their troops too. The Druids. We are only interested in killing off their their mage. Let's pause the game. They had fire to build on. We want to kill only their shamans. Seven remaining. We are blessed. The enemy general is right, dead. Them out. We have sent the idiot to hell. Manados of the Furbolts have been killed. We killed their mages. They have four remaining. I think uh, also that 
the mages do not have unlimited uh, ammo. They can't shoot too much. That's their weakness, that they do not have unlimited ammo. So we'll try to kill their units to with, with uh, whatever ammo we have. Pause the game. And check their stats. 17 melee attack. Very good. Missile attack 21. And it's a magic missile attack. It's really good. 14 total defense. Hit points 4. Very good hit points. Built the glance. Can hide anywhere. Effect against armor. Can penetrate armor like any mage. Combat bonus in woods or snow. Long range missiles. Excellent morale. Fast moving. Okay, nice. They're really good. Okay, I wanted them to attack there. We can massacre their troops. So the only weakness they have is that they do not have unlimited ammo. This I think I nerfed all the mages in the game. Find out how much ammo these guys have. Look at this, they massacre their troops. Much easier with the druids than without them. Shamans, we want them to die. They're moving their infantry over here. Really want to kill the verbal shamans. Three of them are still alive. Fire at will then. Didn't do what they should do. Then we'll let them just attack anyone. Send a unit of cavalry against the deer. We are in loose formation too. Kill if the enemy we killed the twenty seven per cent and lost zero per cent, okay. Killing their mage unit over there. These guys are still firing. Nice. The enemy are badly blooded. 
They have lost half their men. I've already killed 65% of the enemy. It's much easier with the druids, of course. And they are all standing in a uh, blow bright li uh, like that. But these guys had a lot of ammo out here. They are OP. I think they need limited ammo. In a future version. All the mages need limited ammo. So they are not this OP. They shouldn't be able to kill an entire army on their own. But uh, these guys can because they do not have any limit on their ammo it seems, or it's very very high their ammunition level which is a bit boring in villages when everyone stands in a blob like this you can easily just kill off the, the mage it's too late, it's, you can just let them kill everybody we kill 90% of the enemy now Yeah, there are some mages that are still OP. Need to be limited in their ammunition to prevent this type of situation. Then we didn't have any losses in this battle. And won't have in many of the other battles either. Against similar units in villages. Ninety-seven dead already. Yeah, the druids need to be limited. I thought I had limited the ammunition of all the mages, but the druid seems to have been an exception. Which sucks. Sure, it's fun uh, if you are the player, but you're not supposed to be able to handle and help on me with one unit. So, uh, I guess I had just missed out on these guys. them back send the uh, little archers battle this time. See the knight of an archers over there. Let's can fire from here. Go 
Good job. Archers. Need to fire. Killed 98% of the enemy. The water on archers there. Had a lot of troops there. General there. Is our bodyguard reach this area? Firebox are quite strong, so you might not want to fight them really. Have you won the battle? Nice. Look at the carnage. Clear victory. Good leader to Rand Whisper, Windows 1790, Night Elves, lost zero. We lost zero, nice. Thanks to the Mages, the Druid, Mender Mini 1790, we killed 1361 of the Furbolgs. 1381, probably. Okay, Manadus of the Furbolgs had 1381, lost all of them, killed no one, okay. But there are rebel areas too. Thanks to the Druid. Alright, post recording. We're back on the map. We'll walk in. The modern bailey hit here. Okay, didn't lose anyone. We leave a unit of um, Night Elven Swordsman here, I think. And then we'll straight for the ships. Take some other areas now. Full sails. And Mama Rats could lead her to Randy this point, okay. Now it's this battle. Order. Scenarios. Yes, my lord. This is where we shall meet the enemy. Earth nearly twelve hundred five fell orcs. We'll see the game. 
fight this battle too. We have a 3 2 advantage in our favor. and his bodyguard place them in the back we are controlling the general ok so the tool still works we will group the archers place in loose formation we have the triads they will also be in loose formation Mage will be in loose formation too. Furbo mage, Furbo shamans, and group the Furbo infantry and the Knight Elven infantry. And the Knight Elven cavalry can be one group. And guardians. Alright, let's start the battle. Look at the enemy army. They are fell orcs, they have orc spearmen. Same orcs as the horde and the dark horde use different skins. And shared with the burning legion. These are the orcs in use with the burning legion. Burning Legion doesn't use the entire roster, they use only the better ones, I believe. And the archers, I believe, too. The reverse units in the Burning Legion roster are these guys. But they might not have exactly everybody. I'm not sure if they have the spearmen. Yeah, this is uh, basic orc troops. Three models. That's why they look a little bit outdated. Okay, but the, the wolves are from Bull Classic. Just not the riders. Okay, there are some orcs in their army that are actually of better quality. This orc, the Grant, is a remade. Orc of three model. It has some new armor and such. We want to send the uh, archers against their javelin throwers. And against their, their archers. Okay, infantry. Send against those guys. Against these guys. Okay, and against these guys. You don't need to use any siege equipment either. We can send the spearmen against their spearmen. These guys, then we have the cavalry, they can be sent to. But we also have the fur bulks. send them against the orcs there. Okay, and then the cavalry, against their cavalry. Good, okay. So 
take the archers, the night elven archers. Didn't want the cavalry to move straight into the spearmen. We'll move them back. Simplified the wolf riders. Light cavalry, mil light melee cavalry against light uh, melee cavalry. The Horde Cavalry and the Knight of an Melee Cavalry are pretty even. Both are light. Cavalry. Let's move out of there. We are blessed. The enemy general is dead. We have sent the idiot to hell. Ah, killer general Urtrin. Some of their cavalry is still alive, yeah. Furbogs are bigger than the orcs. These orcs look like very small, unfortunately. Because of being orc of three orcs. Only half the enemy force remains. Kind of want the uh, cavalry to handle their cavalry. That would be helped. The furballs backing up our troops there. They seem to be having the numerical advantage. Grunts are similar size to the Furbolgs. More worth the opponent. Yeah, they are killing the Furbolgs too. They're pretty good actually, the Grunts. 15 attack, 9 charge bonus, 12 defense. They are pretty even. What about my archers? All the warriors are fighting and the spearmen. Might send in the Shadow Glen Guardians too. There, send the one unit. Sunset, but our men are winning the battle and forging a worthy victory. One of there. Oh dear. Okay. Have them in Shreel Wolf formation against the spear throwers too. So lost quite a few troops here. At eight percent, we killed eight eight percent of the enemy. We send in our ca infantry and our range units, the, the archers, and some cavalry, but we didn't really use the cavalry too much, and we didn't send in any mages because they wanted to enjoy the battle against the orcs here. 
Otherwise, I believe that Cenaris himself is just as good as the Druid. Might have limited ammo, otherwise he can probably do similar damage to the Druid of the Talon, Druids of the Talon. And the uh, Furball Shamans can also kill a lot of troops. But Shadowland Guardians have reached the enemy. These grunts look pretty cool. Of higher quality than the, than the others. Please, they have an improved model. They're remade. Used to look older pre eh, in the past. The mages, we killed 96% and lost 40%. Could have lost way less troops, way fewer troops. If we had used the mages. It's fine. Climactic battle. I wanted a real battle here against the orcs. Reinforce the troops from the other cities and from Nature's army. It's a modern bailey using a, a village settlement model. Praise the Almighty! Our Continue the battle and kill all of them. To fight. We must push our advantage. This is a clear <laughs> won the battle. That goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Cenaris conquered this area. Splinter tree. And fell orcs. Ultron. Ultron. Okay. Killed 1187 of the enemy. They killed 504. We lost everyone. They have zero remaining. We lost 518 out of 1553. We lost a third of our army. Back on the map, Tenaris conquered Splinter Tree. Let them have it. Lost half the army because I fought it. The infantry and the archers. Mission success, Avi, and four units of triads. Their capital. Yeah, because we won that battle. Send a unit of Elven Swordsmen. Lost quite a few infantry units in the battle. Send the infantry. Mm. Could send the unit of mother sentries instead of infantry. Four slots. Yes. 
three units are approaching. Resistance is futile and splinter, splinter train. And mom rats and okay. Yes. Can leave a unit here. I don't need a unit of bun. Spearman units there. We'll move the this swordsman unit and the wardens to right. one too many. Leave something in this settlement. Yeah. Okay. Ah, we haven't built. So we'll do that now. If we build the central lodge, we'll get Moon Strikers, Three Ants, Fairy Dragons, Hippogriff Riders, and Sentinel's Bodyguard. We certainly go for it. Recruit some troops. As you can get a sentinels unit, same unit that is used as a board guard. We can get Night Elven Repeater, Wall Trowers from Timber Mahal. Diplomat in Night Haven. Done. Get the priest in Dornasus will do that. Okay, and we will end the turn. Okay, end of turn report, same as before. The trade collision has the strongest military in the world still. We'll leave a unit here. Okay, we'll leave uh, a unit of... Uh, Six fur bogs, maybe. Okay, move in the rest of the troops. Move any more this time, scenarios. Relations report very poor with frag trolls and with Ankarai swarm faction. Insects move the spy, fairy dragon spy. It's just Marlux and the sea guy in general. There's only one dangerous unit there. Okay, we will attack this area during the next turn. Have another Murloc area here, similar to the others. Village. Move the assassin. The diplomat. Okay, we 
would uh, move the fleet yes, here. Orders. Move the tigers. Cutting course now, my lord. We shall continue tomorrow, my lord. Alright, time for recruitment. The Ruiz of the Talon can be recruited now. And the Ruiz of the Claw. We go for the Ruiz of the Claw. Okay, we could only recruit one of them. They are quite costly. And Moon Strikers then. for Proving Grounds in Timber Mahold. We're done. We click and turn. Strikers and the mage. Yes. Bringing our troops your will. Your fighters. Orders. Move this army too. Still it is sea storm in a dark ward. Treatment report. We have night alone priestesses and moon strikers. Yeah, construction report. Construction announcement. Okay. Yes. Can't do anything more this turn. There, we'll do the construction and such. We'll go for a hunter's lodge, Timur Mahal. Can convert a wooden castle. Maybe we want it to be a castle. We can get better troops. Let us repeat our boat, we will go for that. The building to be able to construct it. Okay, and then we'll go for a leather tenier so we get more armored troops. Arm of the troops. Proving grounds in Shadow Glen. Okay, we're out of money. The assassin can still move. But Legion has taken this area. We have Legion Commander Manorot. I think we saw him in the first episode. Kill him with the assassin. We'll try to destroy buildings. Fire shall consume the building and the evidence. Who has displeased you? Who can't move anymore this turn? Move the diplomat. Yes, my lord. 
This is where we shall meet the enemy. Yes. Back to land, man. Good. Then join. This owner is there still one unit short. Yes. Crossing for battle. Right, we'll kill off these Murlocs. We'll save here. I think we'll do that this in the next episode. So we have this area held by the Murlocs we need to take. Then we have two areas here on this IR held by Furbogs that we also need to take. And uh, scenarios will go and take a different Furbog, uh, uh, I mean Murloc area over here. Aircrown with the Sea Giant General. We'll be able to kill him thanks to the um, Keepers of the Grow Mounted Mages. And then we'll also move down here and take this higher, another Murloc area, former Nag area. Okay, and then we'll see if we'll take other IRs or if we will expand into other areas of Kalimdor, like the area held by the Golden Legion here, Night Elven City. They might convert otherwise. Right. But uh, I don't want the video to be too long. So thank you for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.